hello friends welcome to my channel this is tin from tech with Ranshi. today i will show you how to send an email through php mailer library uh, it's pretty easy to use and uh, you can send email and i will give a guarantee this email when you just send the email to the user it will not go to uh, the spam folder okay so user directly read your email uh, it here okay uh, in the inbox okay so here are the live demo you can see here I am sending the email okay stint name and the recipient uh, email address at the rate is email.com this is my email address and here are the mm, message okay so here are the message to the user okay and click on the send button just you have to wait okay and message has been successfully sent and uh, when you check your inbox you can see here take rudranshi and uh, here are the message from take rudranshi okay this is my subdomain stint uh, php dot take rudranshi dot com okay and here are the message so it's pretty easy just uh, uh, just 20 to 30 lines code and you can uh, send the email okay you can uh, send the attachment uh, with the attachment you can send the plain text uh, uh, email and you can also uh, send the html email okay it's a pretty pretty and it's very easy to send uh, email okay and the php mailer library uh, will help you uh, a lot so we have to use that and we have to learn how to use the php mailer library okay so before starting a code I will suggest to you to subscribe my channel okay click here to subscribe my channel and uh, later <laughs> okay I just uh, start uh, to writing a code okay so first we have to create a project it here inside a ZAMP, WAMP whatever you have uh, you are using and if you are using the live server it's no matter okay you have to create a project so i have created uh, uh, the tutorial uh, project uh, this one and inside i will create a new project which is so uh, you can give any name okay i am giving it php sorry ph sorry php uh, php mailer okay m is capital you can give any name and inside you have to uh, uh, go to the the uh, php mailer github you have to write uh, on the google okay and search it this is the php mailer php library uh, to send the emails okay now just a minute you have to uh, wait okay and uh, this is the uh, composer just you have to uh, just copy and uh, just inside in your project okay php mailer inside your project hold the shift key and right click and open command window and right click uh, and uh, just click on the right okay just paste it here and hit enter okay so if you are uh, i mean just you don't know what is the composer okay uh, it's taking a time uh, something like uh, 10 to 15 minutes okay depends on the your internet connection okay so we are talking about the composer okay what is the composer composer is the uh, dependency manager okay so first uh, if you are uh, you don't have the composer you just uh, install composer install okay just you have to download composer okay download composer i have already it okay and you can click it here okay it's taking a time okay and here are the composer uh, setup uh, execution file uh, for the windows okay you just click it here and you have to download and install in your computer okay and after that uh, it uh, has uh, successfully installed in your computer and then you have to just uh, run this command uh, this command line uh, I mean just uh, run this uh, line okay just copy uh, here and just paste uh, to be here okay uh, just hold the shift key right click and open a command window it here and paste uh, copy it here and paste it here after installation of the your computer uh, composer 
okay it's pretty easy so we will uh, see okay it's taking a time okay so I'm gonna pause my video because it will take a uh, time you can see here uh, auto load file has been generated okay so when you go to your project you can see uh, like this uh, directory okay one is the composer uh, dot json file and, and the composer dot log and you have a vendor file okay and here you have to create the file uh, which is you can create any name okay but I am creating uh, index dot php you can give it any name php okay and you have to just open it in, inside in your code editor okay so now we will go a uh, little bit fa fast okay so first we need to uh, create a form okay just little bit uh, I'm going to show you just like uh, zoom in okay just wait okay so create a form okay and form should be close and action uh, we will uh, uh, all the actions on the same file and method is post okay and inside we have a input type and text okay and name is the name and the placeholder is the name of the user okay and uh, inside you have to wrap it uh, inside a p tag i mean just a tag uh, do tag okay sorry uh, do and do should be close and inside you have to paste it here okay okay just minute just minute just minute uh, it's not okay just copy this is for email uh, type an email okay and its name is email sorry email okay and placeholder is email okay and put it du again du and inside we need to put text area text area should be closed and name name it ms msg okay and placeholder is the message okay so we have created the html form <coughs> form it here and we write some code of php php close php open open okay so first we have to this is the php mailer okay which we have created uh, just mi uh, just just minute ago okay and here are the vendor folder and inside have autoload.php so we need to include that uh, file so require require and require once uh, we have uh, made the video of uh, what is the difference between require and require once you have to use what is the difference between them okay and you have to include the vendor for uh, autoload uh, <coughs> library it here okay so first we need to if condition okay if dollar underscore post and uh, post email means email is uh, have something uh, means it is not a blank okay means uh, it has sorry if it said okay email means uh, it's not a blank means it has something okay and uh, we will uh, validate our uh, email okay we will filter the e email okay valid email for that uh, for the email validation if it is not set filter validate email filter war okay and here are the the e uh, it takes two parameters okay first is your email okay uh, dollar underscore post and email okay and the second parameter is the filter validate email filter validate email this one uh, if uh, the email address is uh, uh, is not valid okay so it will uh, run this block okay so so the error message so the error uh, message uh, to the user uh, message to the you to the user uh, its email is not uh, valid okay you can echo it and if it is valid uh, you will send the <coughs> 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 
sorry so create the object of the php mailer uh, class uh, so which is the mail okay new php mailer okay and you can also create like this one okay if you will not uh, put the bracket it will also work okay to dollar email okay just copy and paste it email call the some property uh, and methods set from set from and type it your email address of your server and your domain name okay so this is the stint at the rate and you can put your email address okay we will sending uh, from okay so php this is my uh, email address of my server take uh, rudranshi dot com okay and it will takes two parameter here are the say, uh, sender name okay so take rudranshi and semicolon and the next method is the add address okay so dollar email mm, email okay here are the mail okay just mail and uh, add address add address and here are the address of your uh, recipient address it here so you can put uh, uh, we will get from uh, this email uh, input box okay just copy the name okay and dollar underscore post and you can put it here so this uh, email this is the recipient email address and here are the uh, name of the recipient okay dollar underscore uh, post and you can put the name copy and paste it here okay this is the uh, second method of the mail uh, class and the next is the mail type okay dollar mail mail type is we want to do html okay is html is uh, html we want to uh, set it true okay and the next uh, method is uh, subject dollar mail and the subject okay and subject is uh, you can set any subject any name of uh, regarding to your uh, message uh, regarding to your mail okay so message here are the here are the subject of mail mm, mail email okay whatever you can put it okay this is for the education purpose so uh, we are making something like this okay and the mail and the body okay and mail body you can set uh, the the message okay uh, so you can put h1 h2 h3 any html property of uh, html <laughs> and s3 i am putting it like this okay double quotation single quote uh, dot dot means concatenation and you can put it the message of your text area okay dollar underscore post okay and you can put it here okay so message will be append it here okay and the last method with which is the send method which is the mail and send send this is the method uh, so it will returns a uh, true and false boolean value okay so you can put it if email is uh, sent successfully you can uh, echo it email send okay and else mm, uh, please uh, error uh, to send the message okay echo error control s for save okay it's good so uh, this code has been tested on the live server i will not go uh, again to upload uh, this code because this code is here uh, it's a working condition and you can write like this so it will work okay definitely work if it uh, if it is not work you can contact me uh, you can write a comment and you can send me an email <coughs> okay so uh, quick glance uh, again okay here are the form 
and this is the auto load library which we have uh, downloaded from the composer uh, from the github uh, using composer and if email is not set means uh, uh, this email area means uh, this is uh, the blank okay that means it doesn't have the value uh, so it will not run the other code okay so after that you have to filter uh, the email address means uh, you are validating the email address if it is wrong okay it will uh, run this block uh, and if it is okay of the email it will run so we have called the php mailer uh, uh, class of the php mailer library and you can set your email address your server uh, in uh, email address it here okay and add address uh, okay uh, here are the recipient email address which will which we type from here and it will automatically uh, come it here okay and html is true html means you can put uh, 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 any property of the html in the message in the body uh, section okay and send if it is uh, send the message uh, it will run this one otherwise uh, error okay so very small uh, 31 lines of code and uh, it will uh, have uh, some extra thing we don't know uh, it will run on the background of our php uh, when you just run this one and this is the different of the mail function of the php okay so i think you should use this uh, one it's pretty easy okay you can upload uh, this library and you can check it okay I, I have already uploaded it here just minutes ago okay this is the today's uh, code i have write and upload it here okay before starting uh, the tutorial okay so please subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to visit my site okay here www.techtodanshi.com and next time i will come with the new things uh, till then bye and have a nice day